Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a, um, I mean not how to, but how to use redstone properly because a lot of people don't really get how to use redstone. So I'll be showing you how to make how to make a couple of redstone right now and a couple of demonstrations. Now to start off, redstone, you, to put on a ground like this, and, like basically, yeah, to put down, you have to break like right? So it looks, it's like a wire basically. Like, that's what it literally is meant for a wire and a power. It's like a source of power, I guess you could say. So redstone, it may look like really crap, but it's not really useful because with the lever right here, which I'll be showing you the lever, you can do a lot of things. Because if I go like, Make a wire. See how it lights up. And um, there was TNT right here. It'd be a pretty big hole over here. And TNT also requires redstone. Um, I don't know how to make it because it requires gunpowder and gunpowder here for the paper. But I don't have any gunpowder. So if you have a cup of gunpowder, you can search that out. And that thing is. If I pour water straight over that, it's all gone. It turns, it looks like this. Awesome. It looks like, it looks like that floor thing right there. So you get picked back up with lava, it does the exact same, except you don't get that. Okay, so now, um, I'll be showing you how to make a couple of things. Oh no, um, redstone. So some of these don't even, like, one of them. I think one that I don't like stuff. Okay, so let's start off a lever. Like lever was this. I just showed you how to use it. Like to basically turn redstone on and off. So how to make it is really easy. You only need a crafting table. You just put one stick there and then cobblestone. Sorry. Put cobbles, a piece of cobblestone on the bottom and stick on the top and you get a lever. So I don't need that right now, so I'm just gonna put it away. I mean, I'll take it. And now um put it on the crafting table. When you go like this, uh I think yeah, this is the piston. It kind of uses like a lot of items, so you only need one. So everything I'm putting down is only one. So on the side you need like a cob a cobblestone on these sides. Along the top. You should have one plank. In the middle, you should find an iron ear. And, and on the bottom, you should have a uh, redstone that one. So it takes up the whole thing. Should look like this. And yeah, so it should look like this. Right and pistons are used to push things. If you um, check out the cobblestone generator, um, You'll kind of see how the pistons work. So pistons like they push things. So if there was a piston under this wood and I activated the piston, this wood would basically get pushed up because it moves up and down. And redstone repeater. This is how to make a redstone repeater. You need stone, just regular stone, not cobblestone, but stone. So stone. This is how it looks when you mine cobblestone, but then it turns out to look like this cobblestone. So see. So to reverse it basically you put cobblestone in the furnace which will reverse it and then turn it well which will turn it back into stone. Okay, so to make this we need three regular stones just down the bottom side. And uh two red stone plus there, one there, one there. And oh yeah. So one red stone so it should so these two spaces should be open. And redstone repeater, yeah, so we should get that. Repeater is basically its name. It, re repeater, it just makes things go rapidly. Like the pistons, when you activate them, they don't go rapid unless you have a repeater. And yeah, because there's nothing to make it like repeat. That's, that's the point of the repeater. And there's a couple more things you can make it. Uh, like a mine cart it's called. A mine cart. So this is like 
it's called a mine cart, but really what it is, is like, it's like a train cart, like one of those, like, coal carts type of thing. It's one of those, right? So when you make a mine cart, it's pretty cool, because when you make mine carts, you can make, um, uh, rails. See? I got 16 rails out of 6 iron ingots and 1 stick. So that's kind of a lot of iron ingots, it's 6, and iron isn't that easy to find, but 16, that's pretty good. Okay, so these are just regular rails. You need power rails for it to, like, um, you need power rails, so to make power rails, um, you need, like, um, gold ingots. I know these aren't gold, this is iron, but let's just be creative and pretend. And I think there should be, uh, like, one piece of redstone, and this should make you power rails. And the thing that sucks is, is you use six iron ingots and you only get six iron rails. I mean, gold ingots. And to make, oh yeah, to make iron ingots, you just, um, melt iron and to get this. So it's like cool or something. And then, see, you just put this in and you, you should get stone after it burns. And, um, uh, rails. Um, sorry. Okay, rails. Yeah, rails. When rails are placed, they're used as like actually rails and like trains. That's what the minecarts work. So yeah, I'm not gonna take the rails. Um, sorry, I can. I'm not gonna. Uh, in another video, I'll make like a demonstration demonstration with the rails. So what this is is basically um. These are the rails, they, I know it's like stone dust, but just pretend that these are rails. So now these are the rails, right? And then, so these are powered rails. So to the side, you put in, um, like, yeah, you put, like, this is like, so this is the, there's no redstone here, right? There's rails, so the, this is like the power source to the rails, so when I turn it on, I'm gonna flip the switch. See, these will, like light up the rails will light out actually how kind of this looks it'll light up the power rails now the thing is with um, this regular rails, with regular rails um like it you you can't power them like so i could have like a bunch of power rails and then the gap between like a power rail and then just a bunch of rails is like I have to, I have to put down like one power rail and then I can put down like two two or three like regular rails and then another power rail or else like it's not gonna go rapidly it will just stop. And another thing I wanted to show you was um you don't have to use um uh levers to ignite the redstone here. You can use redstone torches too. Okay, there we go. You see, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's like the same thing, I guess. And also, when water is poured, same thing happens when it's on just washed away. And lava, you know, you get that moment where you have like a diamond pickaxe in your hand or something, or like, and diamonds, and then you fall. Okay, so now, I'm just gonna go to. Come on, stick to the And um, with redstone, you can only place it 15 blocks, which I will be demonstrating. Okay. Yeah, so it can only be placed down 15 blocks. Like, if I could place it more than 15, but I won't get covered yet. And another thing is, I can't put it on the side of walls. And I can't put it on top of glass either. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and I just want to use it sometimes. See how it all all of it should light up. But see how like it's more dead over here and more like really like 
come break up there because of the like span right because the torch is all the way down there and see look this is you could tell like how this is it rated and this isn't because this is we went this is the 16th one so it only goes 15 down because you could tell it goes 15 down because like look at that that's terrible like, you don't you can't you can barely tell the difference you don't even know if you account for properly Okay. Yeah, so you can go between not on walls. That would be cool. And not on walls and you can't put these on glass and stuff. Okay, so I guess that's it. Um yeah, I guess that's it. Um Please uh, subscribe to Elite Productions on Spotify and Bobby. And subscribe, yeah, please, please, please subscribe. And I guess that's it. Bye.